Hello and welcome back. You may have noticed things being pretty quiet here at Shonky Productions, but I can assure you I've been busy. Over the last few months I've been trying to find the perfect adventure touring motorcycle for me, but not having much luck. I've sampled the latest and greatest from BMW and Ducati, as well as trying out some of my mate's bikes. Now all the bikes these days are good, I don't think you could really go wrong with any of them. But for me, each of them had their little niggles that didn't suit my design brief for this bike. That is, a comfortable, long distance dirt tourer with good fuel range that is rugged, relatively simple and reliable. Oh, and not too expensive. Failing to find anything that suited my needs, I decided to build one myself. The plan was, buy a bike and transform it into my perfect adventure tourer. And I gave myself a challenge of keeping the total cost below what a new bike would cost. Let's say under $20,000 Australian. I thought long and hard about selecting the perfect donor bike for this build. What it had to have and what I could change to make it what I wanted. There were a few bikes on my short list, but one bike stood out. It had the rugged reliability and comfort aspects covered, along with the stock fuel range I wanted. It was the BMW R1200 GS Adventure. Now I'm no stranger to BMWs or even modifying them. 15 years ago, I built this, based on a BMW 1150 GS. And my goal now was to make another, more modern version. Several months later, and after a 10 hour, 1000 km round trip to pick it up, I had found my donor bike, a 2010 model BMW R1200 GS Adventure. It's the last of the simple oil cooled boxer motors, but has a host of other modern goodies like ABS, traction control and electronic suspension. I set to work and quickly stripped the bike of anything that didn't suit my needs. Crash bars, the heavy aluminium panniers and racks, and as a result, I had stripped a heap of weight off the bike. With the bike stripped and starting to look more like I imagined, I turned my thoughts to its aesthetics and relieved it of its beak, front screen and fairings. But I wanted to change it from a 19 inch front wheel to a 21 inch front wheel to improve its off-road handling and response. Soon, the first of my packages arrived with my new wheel set Facebook Marketplace rewarded me with a full Acropovic exhaust system that lightened the bike without lightening my wallet too much. And with lightness in mind, I swapped the now failing standard lead acid battery for a much lighter lithium battery. It was time to put some lipstick on this German piglet and try to improve its looks. My original plans to use a KTM 640 rally fairing failed as the relationship between the tank and the fairing didn't really work out as I had planned. Luckily, I had a RAID garage rally screen sitting around just waiting to be put on my CRF 300 rally, and I wondered, could I make that fit? After much head scratching, I figured out that, with a little customization, I could make it work, but I would need to build a rally tower to mount it and the lights. A little more custom work, and I had the bike looking close to what I imagined. Now, to pretty it up and see what she looks like. Here she is folks, this is it. New Shonky Outback Tourer. 1200cc, 100 horsepower, 33 litres of fuel, Desert Destroyer. Whoa, baby. Holy hell. This thing, whoa, is amazing. It's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So far on this first test ride, proper kind of test ride, this bike has exceeded my expectations. I am loving it. 
it is a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Like this, I'm riding, just cruising on the road, no problems at all, super smooth, comfortable. And then you saw before how how it handled the dirt and how aggressively you could ride it. And it it didn't feel big, it didn't feel funny. It didn't feel like a BMW 1200 GS Adventure. It just felt like a big dirt bike. And I'm scared, that's how I'm gonna treat it, get myself into trouble. So I gotta keep telling myself, this is just adventure touring. Don't be silly, it's a big bike. They could cause big problems. But in its purpose that I've designed it for, a adventure tourer, I couldn't be happier. It looks great in my opinion. It It's going great. Hopefully, I'll be able to take it for a better test ride. Maybe tomorrow, hit the dirt. Man, this is so comfortable and easy. I'm gonna commute to work on it. I can't wait. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more updates on this bike. Man, I'm loving it. Oh, I just noticed I need to put one more bracket in. Not quite finished yet. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.